morning treasurers this is your host Parthi Shah co-founder of Night Fintech and you are listening to Night Snippets here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 29th April 2021 in the international market treasury yields were calm on Wednesday as the federal reserve officials reaffirmed their plan to keep interest rates and asset purchases steady even as the economic recovery gains steam with this all the tapering talks will take a back seat until June's FOMC. By that time, there will be two months of upticks in inflation and the economy running hot. It would be interesting to see whether the inflationary pressure is transitory as the Fed accepts expects. But till then, the benchmark will be trading in a very narrow range. US 10-year closed at 163 and 30-year closed at 229 Wednesday. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at $67.3 per barrel. Short term range for crude is $66 to $68. The API reported an extensive build in crude oil inventories of 4.3 million barrel versus analyst, analyst prediction of much smaller build of 0.6 million barrels. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is at 90.45. We see range for DXY today at 90.38 to 90.99 please note that dxy has closed below 90.68 and has crossed 90.53 our night's support which is a clear signal of weaker dxy usd cny or chinese yuan is at 647 usd inr with a high of 74.50 closed at 74.36 usd inr's range for today seems to be in 73.95 to 7440. Knight's call after Fed's commitment to hold the rates near zero and continued asset purchases, DXY falling to a new yearly low is very much possible. This clearly means a stronger rupee and USD INR will continue to march towards 7350 in coming month as we said earlier. Global help in fighting COVID-19 is also helping rupee sentiments. Hence, we do expect USD INR to be stronger and to trade below 74 today if possible and eventually reach 7350 levels. In the domestic market, no announcements of any OT, OMOs or GSEPs yet. 563-2026 closed at 558 versus 557 the previous trading day. 585 GS 2030 closed at 605 versus 605 the previous trading day. 20th April 2021 Steebill auctions. 91 day cutoff at 332, 182 day at 345, and 364 day at 373. Mutual funds bought only 190 crores in net GSEC purchases, and this is a clear case of a steady short term rates for near future until it starts rising again. Mutual funds also bought rupees 952 crores net SDLs. Today, the market is going to trade in a narrow range with a biased to yields rising as tomorrow's auction is approaching. Watch out, 585 GS 2030 for rupees 14,000 crore auction in Friday's GSEC auction. If you have not carried out the HTM AFS shifting yet, please do so. If you need it, if you need any help in carrying out the shifting by calculating the potential impact on your IDRs or provisioning given a potential expectation of rise in yields by up to 30 to 50 basis points, do let Knight Research team know. You can reach out to us on research at nightfintech.com or at 993030 That's it for today. You were listening to Night Snippets with Pathesh Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech. See you tomorrow with the new episode of Night Snippets.